I don't like to have to do all the manual work that I have to do after coming home from a photo shoot, especially one involving a time lapse. I need to firstly create the folder manual import like so. Then I need to go into the, as I show you, the DCIM folder. I need to go into the each and every uh, folder that I all the photos in and control A and control C and go over and control C to V2 to copy them or I need to click them, control all and then drag it over or whatever. You get the picture. It's a lot of work and you have to do many, many steps and I don't like it, but there's a better way and I'll show you it. Hi and welcome to Filmmaking and Stuff, I'm Chris. In this video I'm going to show you the simple way to copy all the files on the SD cards to the computer with a single click. I've already shown you how I used to do it manually. Now, if you have been observant, you have seen this icon on the desktop. It says SD card to one folder. Pay attention now, really pay attention. I double click it. What? It creates a folder and this window pops up and it's just blazing away, copying all the files. It's just magic. No, it's not. It's a simple, it's a simple thing. It's a, it's a batch script. I've written it myself and you can do as well. In the video description, there's the whole code for it. But if you're not really tech savvy, you probably need my help to sort of adjust some things. So let's get into that. Firstly, you can see uh, I can right click on this icon and choose edit. And there you can see it nicely, but here you can't see it color coded. So let's close that and do, let's edit in Notepad++. If you don't have it, I highly recommend you to install this wonderful program. So what's the program or what's the batch script? It's three lines of code. It starts with four slash D. It depends. It means that for everything that's happening in this first line, we're going to do something in between those parentheses. So four slash D means for every directory and the percentage pretend, percentage I, I mean, it's just a variable. So every everything that comes from in, this is the path to the SD cards, F, uh, D, C, I, M, and star means everything. So that means every directory that's in, inside of this folder will um, be copied into this um, variable. And then the, it says do, so it's starting a loop. It's going to loop for every directory within this uh, directory. Then it says RoboCopy, and it has nothing to do with robots. It's robust copy. It's a built-in function in Windows, so no worries. Uh, then we have this empty. It says it has to do with how many threads you want this program to run. I have uh, lots of threads on my computer, so I can push this number fairly high. If you have a lower end computer, you might want to reduce those thread counts. E is just so that it automatically uh, copies all the subdirectories if there are any. Probably there are not, but well, in any case. Then we have the uh, variable for the uh, actual um, directory that we gotten from here, the variable. And then we have the file destination folder. So if you have any other file managing system, you just change this path before clicking. And then all your files is going to this specific folder or path. Or, and it actually creates this path as well. So that's all, all well and done. However, in order to create this batch script, you need to do some changes. First, you need to press Windows and E, and then you start the Windows Explorer, and you need to go over to this tab. Let's see if I can, no, uh, this tab will view, and under options, and then you need to go under view. There's a, um, Tick box, you need to untick, hide extension for known file types. You need to uncheck that and press apply. What happens then is now we can see that this 
file type is has an ending of .cmd. And that's very important because if you want to create this batch file, you need to create this .cmd file. And well, just follow it along. So if you right click on the uh, desktop, and you create new and you say text file. But instead of letting it say new text document, let's say my script. And then we remove txt and replace it with cmd instead. And then we get a question. Are you sure you want to change this file type? It might become usable, unusable. Yes, we are fine with that. And now, as you see, it changes the, um, the icon as well. So it's no longer a text file. And now we go to Notepad and then we can paste in the link. Uh, the code that's in the description and then you only well that's it's like doing this then you only need to um, change this for your specific path for your SD card and here for your specific import path and that's it and then you never need to to do anything manual while copying files from your SD cards anymore great huh there's a comment field down below for a reason. Please use it. I read and respond on all the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Hi and welcome to Filmmaking and Stuff. I'm Chris. In this video, I'm going to...